Does the amount of square feet a home have really matter? Well, watch this short video to learn why square feet can be one of the most misleading criteria when looking at homes. Go, go. Hi, this is Blake Downport with the Downport Group. I'm a local realtor here in the DC metro area, here to share with you short and simple real estate tips. Today, we're gonna to be talking about square feet and we're gonna be talking about the difference between actual square feet versus the taxable square feet. Why does this home have you know, 1,000 square feet versus a similar home that had just sold in the neighborhood to have 1,500 square feet? Why are they so different? Well, the di difference is that how the agent inserted the square feet. So when an agent puts a new listing in, they uh, pull the records from the tax records and that typically auto populates the square feet. Typically it's pulling the above grade square feet. So this is only above the ground. Um, so it's not including the basement or any unfinished square feet. So a house may have 1500 square feet total, but it only has a thousand square feet on the top two floors. Um, so it's gonna take that, but then the agent can go in there and, and add estimated square feet of a basement or unfinished space like a sunroom or whatnot. Um, so depending upon which site you're looking for, it can be pulling the actual square footage of the total house, or it can be put uh, um, only showing the above grade square feet. So that's why it can be so misleading. And that's why I think it's one of the worst search criteria when looking at homes, because it can really vary. It's a criteria that can really mess up your search, so I wouldn't recommend searching by it. Again, to recap the difference between taxable square footage and actual square footage, taxable is only accounting the square feet above grade, so not including unfinished spaces or newly added spaces or spaces like the basement uh, versus the actual square footage is the whole square footage, which is taking into the uh, square footage that the agent is estimating. So they could say, oh, it's a thousand extra square feet when it actually is only say 500 square feet extra. So I would be very weary to look uh, by square footage. So there you have it. It's very short and simple real estate tip this week. If you have any comments, please leave them below. We'd love to hear from you. Also, if you like this video, click the like icon, click the bell icon and the subscribe button to be notified of our next video. But thanks again for checking out this week's real estate tip on the difference between actual versus taxable square footage. Bye-bye.